autonomous robots lab innovation university of science and technology in this work we present our contribution on phosphor aerial manipulation based on aerial robotic chain manipulator is designed hybrid modeling control we propose a new design for an aerial robotic system named the aerial robotic chain manipulator or ArcM consisting of multiple micro aerial vehicles or ArcMUs connected through rigid links and three degree of freedom choice. A finger and a factor is connected to each rigid link through a lightweight carbon fiber tube incorporating a universal choice and a stiff damper rendering the finger and effector to act as a compliant mechanism when contacting an object. The motivation of this design relates to the design ability of the robot to cooperatively exploit the thrust vectoring of every arc unit to exert strong forces or moments on the environment and carry or lift significant payloads while simultaneously being able to traverse narrow environments. One application that we imagine is using the ArcM robot to perform challenging work task execution, such as opening or closing a valve. Another application is for the robot to carry payloads with different shapes that one arc unit cannot carry. Several contributions in the field of aerial robotic manipulators have aimed to allow the robot to perform phosphor aerial manipulation that traditional multicopter design cannot exhibit. The SMQ platform includes multiple water doors connected to a rigid tool through spherical choice. The authors demonstrated six degree of freedom control of the rigid tool with three water doors. The last trial robot interface fixed distributed rotors for six degree of freedom for the actuation of each link and utilize distributed imbalance control to perform dexterous manipulation. However, the use of fixed tilted rotors can lead to the waste of energy since the internal forces that don't contribute to the movement of the platform always exist. Another contribution demonstrated aerial manipulation with Dragon, a platform consisting of two degree of freedom gimbal modules to stabilize the robot and exert forces or talk on external objects and to the rear freedom joint modules with motor to change the shape. Our design is a chain bay design without fixed tilted rotor similar to Dragon. However, the main difference of the arc design and control is that our joints are passive with no motor and we use the thrust vector of every arc unit to both stabilize the system perform phosphor aerial manipulation and change its shape. We first acknowledge the fact that the process of transition from free flight to physical interaction takes place in infinitesimal time as the collision dynamics are extremely fast. Given this observation, the dynamics of the system are modeled as a hybrid dynamical model with two modes, free flight loop FF and aerial manipulation loop AM. In free fly mode, the finger and effector is not fixed and it acts as a slow load to the system. The state of the system in free fly mode includes the position XL, the velocity VL of the link, the rotation matrices, and the angular velocities of arc unit 1, arc unit 2, the link and the finger respectively. In aerial manipulation mode, the finger is fixed to the manipulated metallic object by the electromagnet. Hence, the state of the system only includes the rotation matrices and the angular velocities of arc unit 1, arc unit 2, the link, and the finger respectively. The dynamics equations of the system in each mode can then be derived using the extended Hamilton's principle. The standard dynamics equations for the general case with arbitrary number of arc 
English and the finger and effectors are also provided in this work. Specifically, the system will switch from free fly to aerial manipulation mode when the finger and effectors both is close to the valve bolts and the electromagnet is turned on, which is demonstrated by the set GFFAM. The system will remain in the free fly mode when any of the above conditions are false. Hence, the set GFFFF is complement of GFFAM. On the other hand, the system will switch from the aerial manipulation mode to the free fly mode when the electromagnet holding force cannot keep the finger attached to the valve. We now present the control approach for the arc M system with two arc units. Two separate stable controllers are designed for the two modes, which are put the reference thrust factors U1D, U2D for the fast low level attitude controllers inside the autopilot. Switching between the two controllers is determined by the gear maps described above, and the stability during and after mode switching time is verified in simulation using reachability analysis. Specifically, in AM mode, we assign the reference thrust vectors so that the system doesn't switch from AM mode to FF mode continuously. We assume in this work that the terms in the dynamic equations related to the offset between the choice and the center of priorities of the arc units can be manageable. This assumption is valid for two reasons. The first is the ability of the low-level attitude controller to reject disturbances. And the second is that the second derivative of RIDI is born. Therefore, the rotational dynamics of each arc unit is independent of the translational and the rotational dynamics of the link. We can consider each arc unit as a control thrust vector achieved by the fast low level angular control loop inside each unit. To design the controller in free fly mode, we simplify the dynamics equations by expressing the link's coordinates in the yaw alive frame. We then linearize the system around the hovering point to obtain four decoupled subsystems, including the link C dynamic, the link your dynamics, the link which and your align x dynamics, the links drawn and your align y dynamics, which is similar to the dynamics of the normal pendulum on card system. Four corresponding linear stable controller for four subsystems are derived and run in parallel with each other. In aerial manipulation mode, a non-linear SO3 angular controller is utilized to calculate the necessary moments to control the angular dynamics of the link. Then, a mixer commands the two arc units to generate the desired moments. The mixer helps transform the reference thrust vector U1, U2 into the new control inputs A rod 1, U rod 2. An SO3 angular controller is used to derive the control moment MA to control the angular dynamics of the link. Then, A rod 1 is assigned to generate the control moment in XY axis of the link body frame through the carbon fiber to LM. And U rod 2 is assigned to generate the control moment in Z axis of the link body frame through the link L. The control input is assigned such that the detect force applied to the electromagnet is limited, hence preventing continuous switching from AM to FF mode or Zeno behavior. We now present the proof sketch for the stability of the closed loop system in AM mode. First, the Lyapunov function function VA inspired by the NFG function of a system is chosen. We can choose the positive constant C in VA such that VA is non-negative and the derivative of VA is non-positive. Since VA is bounded from below and non-decreases, it converges to a limit. Moreover, we can prove that the second derivative of VA is bounded. For Papalat lemma, 
of dot V A when T approach infinity is equal to zero and the closed loop system is stable. We realize a prototype platform of arc M that has two arc units while an extension to a platform with more arc units is left for future work. Each arc unit is equipped with an Intel Apple computer that runs the FFIM controller for the neighbor link. Each arc unit will receive the trust vector command and the both update from the previous arc unit. The trust vector command will be converted to the attitude trust command and be sent to the autopilot. To verify the stability and performance of the controller, we conducted a set of experiments and utilized a motion capture system to estimate the poses of each unit in the connecting link. In the first experiment, the arc M first operates in free fly mode to traverse to the location of an industrial valve. The controller then switches to the aerial manipulation mode when the fingers and effector is attached to the valve by an electromagnet. The two arc units cooperate with each other to exert a significant yaw moment to rotate the valve by tilting around their own faces, leveraging the length of the connecting link. In the second experiment, we demonstrate the ability of the controller in free fly mode to suppress the lost oscillation with an additional load attached to the finger and effector. Finally, we also demonstrate ArcM in the context of big and release tasks. Here, for a trust collection application, thank you for listening.